Hi, this is Anna for Real TV Films, and I'm so excited because we're going to get to talk to Jody and Dennis Lambert of all the things. So stay tuned here on Real TV Films. How did this documentary get started? Well, there was a... Um, I, I made an album when I was a young guy in 1972. It was the only album I ever made as an artist. It was called Bags and Things, and it came out, and it didn't do any... Any, any major business anywhere, but it turned out to be very successful in the Philippines. And uh, over the years, there was a particular promoter that tried to get me to come there and perform, and I never took it that seriously because it was so far-fetched and, and unusual, and I was busy making records with artists and writing songs. And, and uh, after 30-some-odd years, I finally said yes being encouraged, of course, by Jody and my wife, my daughter, and Taylor, and friends that knew I had this offer. So uh, I went over there, and that's how really the, the, the tour was finally put in place. I'm Dennis. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you. Hi, Sammy Dennis. How could it go to F if the lick is at C? So it's an F. Okay, so did you brush up on your Tagalog and Visayan before you went over there? <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a little, yeah, I had a little coaching, you know, yeah. so okay. I could talk to the audience a little bit here and there, you know. Don't ask me to say anything now. <laughs> will, you, will you take a few minutes? Yeah. When you want to fry yourself an egg, you can kind of be sort of quiet through that. There. there isn't any reason, you know. You could like to lay out, yeah, and then and a few seconds. When you see, when you see a man beg, that would take some time to go down to the corner store. Well, what I got in mind, girl, give me 60 seconds, no more. Filipinas must have went crazy over there, especially for your music. Yeah, they, they love the music, and it's incredible to, to uh, meet so many people that were so intimate with this music, you know, that's so rare. Um, and standing in front of them on a stage is like a unique experience for me, one that I'll certainly never forget, and now one that I'm carrying forward. All right, want to run the, the guys number four? I didn't sing in the New York subway. I didn't pay on my New York to E flat F. That's how I phrase that. Mountain, right. Just to be here on a foggy mountain. I didn't sing in the New York subway. I didn't pay on my New York dues. Just to be here on a foggy mountain. Call it California blues. Yeah. Boy, it's great to play music with, you know, some people. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was waiting for, you know. So Jody, how was this um, following your father around, doing, directing him? Uh, it was really terrific, you know. It's uh, not every guy gets an opportunity to dig into his, his father's past and uh, when, he's, when you've got a creative... Uh, force like him and you get to unearth a lot of stuff that you wouldn't have known it's really special so it was a lot of fun so this documentary is like a love letter to your father well, yeah. <laughs> don't make me more blush. like a slap in the face <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's an affectionate portrait right <laughs> well the red carpet was blazing hot and so much fun here tonight we were so excited to talk to the cast and crew of the documentary of all the things so stay tuned for more interviews on the red carpet real tv films